What's up everyone? It's your trainer Sydney Howdershell and this is your 30 minute full body AMRAP workout. So grab some dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to our full body AMRAP workout today. This is one of my favorite styles of workout and I know you're gonna love it too. We're gonna get right into it with two exercises at a time, eight reps of each for our first set. And throughout the workout, we'll hit upper body circuits, we'll hit lower body circuits, and we'll hit core circuits as well. Four minutes on the clock. You'll have two exercises to rock through eight reps of each. So eight, 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 as many times as you can in that four minutes of work. Then we'll have one minute for you to rest, grab some water, and I'll show you what's next in our circuit. We'll get our weights ready and we'll go again, okay? Six AMRAPs today of four minutes each and we're gonna rock between 75 to 85% of your max weights today, which for instance, if you're doing a shoulder press and your max weight that you can do just a couple reps of that shoulder press is 30 pounds, you're gonna take 75 to 85% of 30 pounds, which will be somewhere around 20 pounds and give me a tempo of one, two, one, two. Okay, so a nice moderate tempo to control it for working on hypertrophy and strength. Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and also grab your glute bands. We have a couple exercises where I'll add in a lateral raise for your glutes, and then a uh, yoga block or a, a stack of books or dumbbells if you have that for a heel elevated squat option, okay? So let's jump into the warm up. Thumbs up if you are ready. Let's go, three, two, one, big cross. Great job, breathe and open your mind up. This is gonna be one of those workouts you really get into your zone. You can really zone out and just kind of rock your strength and just give it all you've got today. Think of this as a dedication to all the things that you've accomplished this week, all the goals that you still have for yourself yet to achieve. Heels to glutes. Great job. We've got some antagonistic muscles in our first set. So just kind of like a first and second day of the week for this move challenge. You got a push and a pull. There you go, tap, twist, twist, twist. Perfect, let's go three, two, one, and hinge your hips, shoot your hips backwards, backwards, backwards. Good job, bend your knees and bring your hands right to your chest. You're gonna lift your hips and then sit. Lift and sit. Good job, three, two, and one. Hands down on the floor, take it a little bit wider and let's go bent leg and straight leg to hit your inner thighs. Hope you're feeling great today. And I know when you're done, you're gonna feel better than when we started. If you're showing up fully motivated or fully not, think of that post-workout feeling. Three, two, one, great job. One last motion for mobility here. Let's go pike to plank. Good, pike, plank, pike, plank. Exhale as you plank. Good job. And drop your hips all the way down to the ground. Shoulders go left and right. And we'll get started in about 45 seconds here with a kneeling option for shoulder press and then a kneeling bent row. Okay, exhale, make your way back into a plank. Walk it back. Nice deep squat, open your chest up. Shift it left and right, moving your ankles a little bit. All right, let's come on up. So, I'm gonna use my 15 pounds. We've got four minutes, so if you wanna go up, you can. Okay, eight reps. So you've got alternating rows. One, two, three, four, up to eight. Then you're gonna bring those dumbbells right here, shoulder press. Okay, grab your weights. We start in five. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Rows and shoulder press. You're looking for 23 on the clock. Good 
Nice tight core on your shoulder press. Squeeze your glutes and your core. And your first minute is done. Great job. Going into minute two, always evaluate. Can I go a little heavier? Do I need to go down a little bit? Push yourself here. Nice job, your first 90 seconds is down. Breathe and keep on moving. The halfway point in these four minute circuits is a good time to really evaluate your weights as well. So that's happening in about 20 seconds. Good job, you're two minutes in. We start on minute three right now, let's go. How you doing, pretty good? Okay, come on, keep pushing, we're pulling. Ninety seconds to work. One minute, let's go. Last 60 seconds here. Nice job, breathe, breathe, breathe. As you push and pull, remember this is for you. We're about to move on to lower body. You've got 30 more seconds of this upper body in wrap. Let's rock. Fifteen. Come on, push, push, push. Ten, nine. Two, one. And beautiful job. Grab some water, you've got a 60 second break. And we've got heel elevated squats and a sumo Romanian deadlift with a lateral band raise, okay? Heel elevated squats, you're gonna take your heels up on top of something, yoga block, dumbbells, if you would like. If you don't wanna do the heel elevated, just keep it on the ground, okay? You've got eight here, eight, seven. If you wanna hold your dumbbells, I recommend taking them right down beside your legs. And then, sumo, Romanian deadlift. You're gonna go here, nice and wide. At the top, lift. So that's one, that's two, okay? So for that one, you're gonna have a band on your legs. Same thing, if you would like, okay? 15 seconds and we're going for it. I'm gonna take my medium, and I'm actually gonna use my kettlebell for that RDL. All right, five seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, eight squats, eight deadlifts.
Drive your heel out to the side. Good work. And your first minute is done. Let's go. Keep rocking. You're looking for 18 on the clock. Good job, and if you're using the band on your squats, your knees are gonna be a little bit closer together, so it's okay to just kinda of let it fall and then pick it back up for your deadlifts. Good, come on, come on. Nice work, you're two minutes in. We're on to minute three, let's go. Nice job, come on, get into your zone. I know you're thinking, wow, this one's a burner. Keep rocking, a minute and 15. Good, last 60 seconds of work right here. Come on legs, come on glutes. Great job. Whew. 40 seconds. Good, nine, eight. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Whew. Grab some water, 60 seconds to breathe. We're going on to some core work here. Bicycles and a dumbbell pullover and crunch. Okay, so the pullover and crunch dumbbell is optional. All right, I'm gonna lay my sweat towel down here. Bicycles, we're gonna go 10 each leg, okay? One, one, two, two, three, three. And then, dumbbell pull over and crunch. It's gonna stretch you out a little bit. So you're gonna tap overhead, and then you're gonna come over your chest, crunch up, right over your legs. Okay, tap, pull up, crunch. If you don't wanna use a dumbbell, tap, legs up, crunch. Okay, just kind of separate it a little bit at a time. Legs, arms, arms, legs. Bicycles, 10 each leg. Let's go. Two, one, come on.
First minute is done, good job. Minute two, here we go. Good job, minute 45 left, come on. You're in minute three. One minute and about 35 seconds to go, come on. Last 60 seconds. Oh, come on. I know this burns, push through it. Exhale. Twenty. Good. Three. Come on. Two. One. And rest. Whew. Beautiful job. You've got sixty seconds to breathe, and we move into. Our last two circuits. I'm gonna go two circuits, three exercises each with you. Five minute circuits, okay? 10 reps of everything, we're gonna keep it there. The first one, two upper body and an ab. Okay, so we're gonna go front raise, side raise. So you go one, one, two, two. And your second exercise, bicep curl. Okay, 10 here. Your last one in that five minute circuit, tricep overhead extension. If you can, lifting your legs up, getting your core involved. Okay, front raise, side raise, bicep curl, seated overhead extension, core involvement optional. Okay, let's go. Lighter dumbbells here for the front raise, side raise. Here we go, we're off in six, five. Ready, more exercises, a little bit more time, focus on your form. Let's go. Come on, focus on form.
First minute is done. Come on, minute two. Good job, a minute 40 seconds down. Doing okay? All right, come on, keep rocking. Two minutes down, you're on to minute three. Come on, pull, 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 you've got this. And minute number three is done. We're on to minute four, you've got five minutes here, so two minutes left. You're in minute four right now. Great work. Evaluate if you need to go up or down and anything. You need more of a challenge? Let's go. You need to dial it back to keep your form. You know what to do. A minute 20 left in this one. Come on. You're doing great, do not give up. 45 more seconds here, and then we move on to some lower body and core to close out this workout. Let's go, do not stop. Ugh. Fifteen, good work. Come on, finish, 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 right here. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Oh, you've got 60 seconds, and we're gonna close it out. Glute bridge, clamshells, side plank dips, okay? Everything will be down on the floor. Glute bridge is gonna be your heavy dumbbells, okay? So you've got 10 bridges. Boom, I recommend putting your glute band on here. All right, go here for 10, open it up here, 10, or a dumbbell on your leg, and then 10, and then you go 10, and 10. And a little bit easier way to do that would be the 10 clamshells on this side, and then your plank dips, and then just switch it over clam shells, plank dips, okay? A lot in this one. Your last five minutes, I need to see you really pushing. We go in 15 seconds, okay? Grab your band, Whew. grab your dumbbell, and let's go. Six, five. 
two, one, and we're off. 10 bridges. Good. And you can just roll right over. I'm just flipping to face you so you know I'm in this with you. A lot of work in this one. You're on the ground, so just keep moving. First minute is done. You're on to minute number two out of five. Good job. Keep it up. Come on, come on. You're at the halfway point here. Two and a half down, two and a half to go. Come on. Just when you think it's slowing down, add a little more weight. Get refocused, right? You got this. You got to believe that as well. Two minutes to go. Come on. You're in minute four right now. Ninety seconds to go. Come on, come on. As I'm cheering you on, I'm cheering myself on as well. I know this burns, but I know we got it. last 50 seconds. I need you to go all out. I need you to really lift, really squeeze. Come on. Thirty seconds. Come on, come on, 17. Good, six, five. And two, 
one, rest, amazing job. Down here on the floor, I want you to just flip right over, hands and knees, shift your hips back, reach your pinky fingers out in front of you. Look up to your thumbs, let's cool it down. You've made it to your cool down, so give me just a minute or two to make sure you leave here feeling ready for the day, ready for your workout tomorrow. Starting your recovery, starting your strength gains right now. Come on up, lift your hips and drop them down onto the mat as you open your chest. Let's just relax your lower back a little bit. Beautiful job today. If there was a circuit that really challenged you today, be proud of that. You stepped into a total upper body or a total lower, lower body or a total core circuit. If something was really hard for you, be proud that you worked hard enough to make it a challenge for yourself. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up into the air. Nice wide feet, drive your heels down to the ground so we can stretch your calves out. Great work today. Everything you did in today's workout, in some way you saw this a little bit throughout the week. <sighs> Closing out week number two after your workout tomorrow of the MOVE program. <sighs> walk it back, walk it back. You're at your toes now. Just bend your knees a little bit. Put your elbows on the inside of your knees and open them up. Push, 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 standing up. Great work, heel to glute now. Grab onto the wall if you need to. Closing out your second week of a challenge has gotta be kind of a reflection point to you. The first half is officially done of a whole program. Okay, think about what you've accomplished so far in terms of lifestyle habits. Consistency, have you gotten that down for your workouts, for your nutrition? Check yes or no. If one of those is no, week three's gotta be that week. It's gotta be your time. Figure out why, okay, you're trying to put your workouts in a time slot that consistently doesn't work for you, or you're trying to fit nutrition in that requires you to cook a couple hours every day and you can't make that work for you. Figure out why it's not working. You're picking foods you don't like. And then flip it to a how. How am I going to be consistent? Wide stance, take your arm overhead. Okay, if you're trying to fit workouts in at a time that truly doesn't work for you, you gotta shift some things. Okay, maybe wake up a little bit earlier. Maybe take your lunch break and do it. Okay, maybe make some shifts in your day. Switch it over. It truly depends on for the most part. I know a lot of us have a lot of different schedules, but what are your priorities right now? Okay, work, family life, personal mental health. Come back up to the top. Gently push forward. If there's something in there that doesn't really need to be there, that's kind of filling up your time, filling up your space, Let's make some shifts, okay? If you've got an hour, hour and a half of TV, social media, scrolling at the end of your night and you consistently can't get your workouts in, let's make that shift, okay? Same thing, if you can't get your meal prep in, let's make that shift, okay? Sometimes we don't truly acknowledge what's taking up our time because everything that you're doing is taking time from you, okay? Make sure that investment of your time is worth the benefit that you get out of it, okay? Maybe it is a little, I need to unwind, Netflix kind of calm down sort of night, but if that doesn't really benefit you and you think a workout would benefit you more, let's make some shifts, okay? Prioritize what you're truly attributing your efforts towards in order to receive the benefits for yourself. And I want you to comment below what that is for you. What are you gonna make your priorities today? Three things, top three priorities, comment below. I wanna see what they are, okay? Before you head out today, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Share this workout, it's 30 minutes. Everyone needs access to 30 minutes of working out no matter where they are. And I'll see you back here for our next one. Great job today.